So, click on your uh, flight bonus icon. Program will open up. Uh, you can uh, enlarge it. Okay, here you have your boxes. Beginner, L3C, 3D Soft, Hardcore, Extreme. I picked 3D Soft, and it automatically picks your roll pitch, tail rotor, all that goodies. I didn't mess with any of this. All I did was went over to set up, another box opens. Top of the screen, you see all this stuff. You got uh, a little bit hard to see on my screen, but it says monitor, and then the next one's installation. Here is where you'll pick how you installed it. You got uh, three different ways. Um, I went with this one here. So, um, what I did, you click it, turns red, and you go to the mobile bottom of the screen and hit next. The next screen is going to ask you what kind of servos you're running. For me, I had to pick the second one here. Tell servos 520 US digital, plus play servos of 520 analog. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, all kind of choices here. Uh, if that's not what you're running, you can pick something else. Go down to the next button. Now I'm going to ask you what type of swatch plate you're running. Uh, most of us are going to choose this one. Uh, 120 degree CCPL. But there are others there if you need. Um, again, go next. This is your survey reversing. If uh, your left your, is right and right is left, all you gotta do is just click on here and I'll change it from normal to reverse. Uh, don't worry if you accidentally change it by mistake. Uh, just hit it again and you're right back to where you was. And uh, as long as you have the USB port plugged up, to the heli, and the heli powered on, it will change it automatically while the heli's on and you can see them twitch. Um, after you're finished here, click next. Now you're at swath plate type. Uh, honestly, I didn't do nothing on this page. Uh, I left it where it is. They resolve zero, I believe. Um, I don't have my USB cable hooked up right now. I'm just showing you the menus. Um, but I didn't change anything. So uh, I just went down and uh, clicked next. This page is asking you about swash travel. Uh, you can move your sticks on the radio and you will see this ball move. Uh, but that's about all it does for me. So I went ahead and clicked next. Now this page you will use if you set up your uh, collective pitch. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you'll come over here and you'll dra either, you can either come down here and click these little up and downs and see the ball move. You'll also be seeing your pitch move as long as you have it set to up or down. So pick how much pitch you need. Um, it goes from 0 to 125. Right now I think I have mine on about 55 to 60. And I'm getting 11 and a half, 12 uh, degrees of pitch. After you have that set, you'll just click next. Uh, the next one is your tail pitch setup. Um, you have your servo trim. If you need to center it, you'll fill with that one. 
I didn't have to, uh, till limit A. Uh, honestly, I don't remember which one with what. I'm sure everybody's heli will be different. Uh, this one I had to go all the way up to 125 to get my limit. And then the next one, you know, if you need to go get more or less, just choose it there. After you're finished, again, click Next. Now this page was something I had to change a lot of. Uh, you check your slot plate correction direction. You tilt the helicopter nose down. The slot plate should go back. And uh, mine didn't. So I had to come over here to uh, where it says normal. I click it. Now it says reverse. Uh, you can do this while the hell is on. Uh, same thing for your roll. It's backwards. Uh, when you tilt the hell is right, the swatch should go left. Left should get right. Pretty simple. Tail. Always confusing to me, but again, just a click of the mouse. You can go reverse normal. Uh, after you're finished here, you can just go uh, again, go down to next. Sorry, I'm on a little um, netbook computer using my cell phone camera. It's not the best, but hey, it works. This screen is your uh, Puro, Puro Opt, is what they call it. And I believe this is the screen I need to fool with for my heli. Cause my pyros are not level, but hey, they're good enough for me for now. Got a little thing down here, you can check your pyro thing. you got to pick up the heli by the head, spin it 90 degrees really quick and see what happens. Uh, not really that familiar with it, but maybe later I'll do another video explaining more about this. Uh, and after that, you just hit finish. Takes you back to the main page. Uh, I'm really not sure if it saves the stuff automatically. Uh, I came down here to nickname, typed in something, and uh, then I clicked the little push update button. And of course, right now it's going to tell me I'm not hooked up to nothing. But if it wasn't, it would tell me it took. So there's a little video of how the screen works, the program works, very nice program. I uh, hope this video was helpful to you and uh, be sure to check out all my other videos. Uh, thanks.